No! Tony! No! Tony! No! We own it! We own What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Jalen Freaking Hurts podcast, where we talk 99.9% of Jalen Freaking Hurts with just a hint, a hint of Philadelphia Eagles. I am your boy, Mrs. Miss Cook. I turn you through representing the birds. So earlier today, I talked to you guys of how I'm feeling after the loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, how I'm feeling that we got eliminated, how I'm feeling that now we're in the off season, right? The fact that I didn't want to listen to absolutely nobody today. Not even my boy Jalen freaking hurts. I don't want to hear from you. Howie Roseman, oh, Howie T, I don't want to hear from you. Nick Sirianni, I don't, I don't want to hear from nobody. Nobody, right? That was earlier today. Right now, we're going to talk Jalen freaking hurts. And what is my grade for my quarterback for not just the postseason game versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but the entire season, right? The 2023 season for Jalen freaking hurts. What is my grade for my quarterback? Hmm? What is it? It's C. C plus. It's a C plus. Okay. So why is it a C plus? It's simple, really. It's real simple. Number one, it ain't higher because of the interceptions. It's not high like A or B because of the interceptions. And plus, you you lost some games, including the Tampa Bay Bucks. A couple of days ago. So you lost some games. It ain't low. Because if it wasn't for you. We're not. 11 and 6. It's because of you. That before this debacle happened. We won 10 games. We were standing one. Okay. That's why you get a C plus. Now, it could have been lower. I get it. I get it. That safety that he did this past Monday, I agree with y'all. Oh, under throwing Quez and AJ and Devontae and Goddard, I agree with y'all. Some players was wide open, and he didn't look at them like last year. I agree with y'all. But if it wasn't for the fact that he won 11 games, right? He won 11 games. If that didn't happen, it would have been lower than that. Right? If he would have won the two games that I'm about to say and lowered the interceptions, it would have been higher than that. But I'm sticking right in the middle. C+. plus. C+. Plus. So why did he get a C plus? Hmm? Why did Jalen freaking Hurts get a C plus? Again, like I said, the turnovers. The turnovers. Let's look at the numbers and let's talk about it. So as y'all can see here, Jalen Hurts has 3,858 3, Passing yards with 23 touchdowns and 50 interceptions in a in a 60 QBR. If those interceptions was a little bit lower, then would have been a B minus. Right? It would have been a B minus. If those interceptions was lower. And we would have won more games, it would have been up to a B. But because of these numbers, right? Because of these numbers right here, that's why the grade for.
for Jalen freaking Hurts is a C plus. It's a C plus. It's a C plus. But let's continue on, y'all. Let's now, as y'all can see here, these are the numbers of Jalen Hurts throughout the season. If he would have just beat, right, because the 49ers and Dallas Cowboys had the same record at the end of the season, 12 and 5. If you would have just beat the two teams that I'm about to say, I guarantee, I guarantee, I guarantee, number one seed, first round back, two games at the link, right? Okay, if you would have just beat the Jets and the Seattle Seahawks, you would have been 13 and 4. If you would have beaten the Giants, 14 and 3. 14 and 3. If you would have beat uh, the Giants, the Jets, Seattle. You beat those three? 13 and 3, 14, 14 and 3, 13 and 4. So let's go. Let's look. Jalen Hurts versus New England Patriots. He was 22 of 33 for 107 yards, one touchdown, no pick. And a rating of 80, 89.2. Right? Right? He also had nine carries for 33 yards. Because I guess these are the touchdowns. Okay. Uh, Russian touchdowns. First, the Minnesota Vikings, right? He was 18 for 23 for 193 yards, one touchdown, one interception. He also rushed 12 carries for 35 yards and two touchdowns. Versus Tampa Bay, 23 of 37 for 277 yards. One touchdown, two picks. He also carried, uh, he was 10 carries for 28 yards and a touchdown. By the way, if we look up here, if we look up here, these are all the carries and rushing yards and touchdowns. So again, versus the Tampa Bay Bucks, 23 of 37 for 200. And 77 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. He also rushed uh, 10 carries for 28 yards and a touchdown. All right. Now, versus Washington, 25 for 37 for 319 yards, two touchdowns. He also was nine carries for 34 yards and no touchdowns. This was a passing game for him and AJ, right? Now, versus the Rams, 25 for 38 for 303 yards, one touchdown, one pick. He also had 15 carries for 72 yards and a touchdown. Versus the Rams. Now, this one, what I'm about to say, if he would have not, Throw what I, the three interceptions versus the Jets. You beat that Jet. The, you would have beaten the Jets. Twelve and five. Versus the Jets, he was twenty-eight of forty-five for two hundred and eighty yards with no Lane Johnson. By the way, one touchdowns, three interceptions. Now, granted, you had eight carries for 47 yards and a touchdown, but three interceptions, y'all. See what I mean? If those was just low. Because you only lost, let's see, it was 20 to 14. You only needed one more touchdown. See what I mean? 
You beat the Jets. You're twelve and five now. Again, the interceptions and overthrowing people is the reason you got this grade right here. Miami, 23 of 31 for 279 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. You also had 11 carries for 21 yards and a touchdown. Some of these was probably the brotherly shove. Others, he just rushed it like he did in Green Bay. All right? Washington again. 29 for 38 for 319 yards, four touchdowns. His best game. He always have his best game versus Washington. You ever knows that? Now, versus the street rat pack known as Cowboy Nation, who's also on the couch with us. Stay your butts far away from me. Stay away from me. Right? Jalen freaking Hurst, who beat that press, got out the leg. <laughs> he was 17 and 23 for 207 yards, two touchdowns. He also had 10 carries for 36 yards and a touchdown. Super Bowl rematch versus the Chiefs. Versus the Chiefs. Right? He was 14 of 22 for 150 yards. No touchdown. One interception. Right? But... He was 12 carries for 29 yards and two rushing touchdowns. That was nice. That was nice. Let's keep going. So he had a so-so game versus the Chiefs. Okay. Bills, the one where he, in the rain, he was 18 of 31 for 200 yards. Three touchdowns, one interception. He also had 14 carries for 65 yards, two interceptions. So he had so-so games. So he had his best game versus Washington, like he does every year. His mm, The only two games I can see that he had his best game, Commanders. Commanders. Maybe even the Miami Dolphins as well. Miami and Commanders. Miami, Commanders, and maybe Buffalo. But then, then here it comes. 49ers. The game me, Moan, and King DV went to. Twenty six forty five. Two hundred ninety eight yards, one touchdown. No picks, but yeah. Me what uh, he also had seven carries for twenty yards and a touchdown. Yeah. Dallas in eighteen T. Eighteen of 27 for 197 yards. No touchdowns, no picks. He also had five carries for 30 yards. No touchdowns. Yep. Let's keep going. Let's keep on going. There you go. Now, first the Seattle Seahawks. The game that he got had to win to win the NFC East to get the two seed. Twenty, uh, he was he lost twenty to seventeen. It was seventeen and thirty one for one hundred and forty three yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. But he rushed 
for 13 carries for 82 yards and two touchdowns. He also had uh, 13 carries for 82 yards and two touchdowns. But he should have won that game. He should have won that game. New York Giants, 24 for 30 for 301 yards, one touchdown, the pick six, and a rate in of 85.5. Against Seattle, he had a 40.1 rating. And and in the Giants game, he had eight carries for 34 yards and a touchdown. Arizona, 18 for 23 for 167 yards, three touchdowns, one pick, uh, and a rating of 116.4. His best game is just the defense didn't stop him. And against the Giants where nah, – 7 for 16 for 55 yards, no touchdown to pick, and he only rushed for four yards. And then this past Monday, he was 25 of 35 for 250 yards, one touchdown, no pick, and he only rushed for five yards. That's why he gets a C plus. That's why he gets a C plus. All of this. All of this. Think about this, y'all. He was down by three versus the Seahawks. Right? He was down by three versus the Seahawks. Versus the Jets, he was down by six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why he gets a C plus. A C plus. That's why he gets a C plus. So. So in the off season. In the off season. I want my boy better. I need Jalen freaking hurts to be better. Simple as that. Be better with the interceptions. Be better in reading the blitz. Be better at not overthrowing or underthrowing people. Be better. Be better. Connect with A.J. Brown like I know you is. Connect with Devontae Smith like I know you is. Connect with Goddard. Whoever our running back is, if it's Swift, connect with him. Connect with our players. And if you do that, it's going to be a great season. Fly goes fly and go.